Hello, how you doing today? This is Chef Austin bringing you the finest cuisine from the Southeast Georgia, Golden Isles. Right now, we're going to be blessed to be in the, uh, be in the house of Gene Earl and Jack McConnell. Uh, I have a lot of dishes that I'm going to be preparing for you today, and I'm quite sure that there'll be uh, dishes that you can prepare at home as well as entertain your company. Uh, as you can see, our be beautiful scenery is showing you the Golden Isles. There's nothing better, I don't care where you live in the United States, there's nothing better than the Golden Isles. We're in the kitchen now. We're just outside viewing the uh, beautiful scenery. So now it's time for me to do what I do. And what I'm gonna do is prepare some items for our guests that will be coming to the house tonight. Uh, the first item or dish that I'm getting ready to prepare is uh, it's going to be done with wonton strips and it's going to be grilled chicken, shrimp, onions, green peppers, and uh, alfredo sauce. I have one, one guest that's going to be here tonight who's a vegetarian so I'm going to omit putting the chicken into their wontons. Uh, the next dish that will go with that will be the uh, fried scallops and I'm also going to do a curry shrimp with the seasoned rice. All of that's going to be all displayed in one dish. When you see this come together, you're going to say, wow, he must really know exactly what he's doing. And I like to think that myself. So what I have here is uh, I diced some chicken and I marinated it in some Italian dressing. My next dish is going to be fried scallops. So I have my uh, flour here with a little bit of paprika in it. So I'm going to add another teaspoon of garlic, another teaspoon of Italian seasoning, just a dash of seasoning salt, and I'm going to mix that together, and I'm going to start flouring up my scallops so that way they can be ready when uh, I'm ready to cook those. It's very easy. I mean, none of these dishes are hard. These are dishes that you can do at home. Uh, and you can also practice. I mean, you can add additional items to these dishes that would uh, make them your signature dishes. There's one thing that I always say is that your mistake is your own creation. So if you make a mistake, just don't tell nobody. You don't tell nobody, I won't tell nobody. I've made several mistakes in cooking and I feel that that added to uh, my ability to be able to do this demonstration tonight because there's no recipe that's written in stone. Turn this down low. And we'll let that simmer for a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to take three cups of heavy cream because I'm getting ready to make my Alfredo sauce. I have my flame down low, which is a must because you definitely don't want your uh, heavy cream to curdle or burn. Take one egg. And I'm going to double dip my scallops. So in the eggs, back into the flour. In the eggs, back into the flour. I'm going to mix this together. Sauce here is going to be used for a couple of different items. One is going to be the uh, the wontons, and the other is going to be for the uh, final dish, which is going to be. Uh, scallop medallions wrapped in bacon. Also, I'm gonna use the same sauce as a uh, stuffing for chicken strips. Which, as you can see, I, uh, I sliced in half. I'm gonna add my strawberries. As you can see, I cut in, uh, in, in slices and strips. Also, julienne, the zucchini, and I slice the squash. 
I'm gonna take my uh, mushrooms right now and I'm gonna add my mushrooms to my rice because my rice is just about finished. So I'll go ahead and add the mushrooms to the rice. The reason why I add my mushrooms last is because the mushrooms don't take very long to cook. And that's absolutely beautiful. I couldn't have done it better myself if it wasn't me doing it. So we're going to serve the salad first, which is going to be a mixed green salad with uh, strawberries, mm -hmm. cherry tomatoes, julienne, uh, zucchini, sliced squash. It's going to be with uh, sauteed shrimp with a raspberry vinegar oh, dressing. Oh, wow. I said that, didn't I? Wow. That's good, I know. <laughs> uh, the next thing I was talking to everybody about was an appetizer, which is a little more than your basic appetizer, but I'm trying to promote shrimp and usually when I teach people about cooking uh, it's always cheaper to purchase items in bulk more so than just an individual pack so what I did was I'm using what I'm doing is actually using shrimp in a couple of dishes one of the dishes I'm using the shrimp in, of course is the salad the next one that I'm doing is going to be a curry shrimp but I'm also doing a, a seasoned rice with uh, mushrooms pimentos celery as well as chicken base and then I'm going to do some wontons with shrimp grilled chicken peppers and onions which are going to go good with the curry sauce that's going to be on the rice <laughs> and then I'm going to do fried scallops so all of that's going to be plated on one item and then finally at the end I made an alfredo sauce which is going to consist of crab meat shrimp uh, the alfredo sauce along with the other Italian seasonings garlic and that's going to go on the fettuccine noodles which are going to be wrapped with bacon except for one guest that we have here <laughs> who will not have bacon wrapped on his scallops and then I took a chicken breast which I'm going to thicken up the same sauce with the shrimp and the crab meat to stuff the chicken strips with so, in just a few minutes, you all be able to see what I'm talking about. So we can drink about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So we have this beautiful so we have this my eye ear was then, that uh, uh, Chef had mixed strawberries and uh, uh, the cherry tomatoes, mm -hmm. which I had never had together. So uh, that was unique and wonderful. It struck me as a sophisticated guy salad <laughs> because there was a lot of it. There were these kind of odd combinations and pairings of things like it was a guy would go to the refrigerator, I need to make a salad. And so you just start kind of grabbing things, put together. But the thing is, it actually worked really very well. Drop the scallops. What are you crisscrossing? Like I said, it smells wonderful. And uh, from what I can see right now, I think we have a fabulous dish here that everybody's going to love. Wow. Sorry, three, three. 
feeling now. You know, Joe, okay. We're going to let you get your medal. What we're going to do now is prepare for the main meal. And that's going to consist of uh, our scallops wrapped in bacon. And what's going to happen is uh, halfway through the process, I'm going to season all of these with French. Add our mushrooms. And this is going to add an additional flavor to the. Uh, that's beautiful. They're just about finished. And so he didn't know if it was viral or had a and, uh, I don't know whether we come on. They had a well, they still on. Mm -hmm. you know, like, so right now we're getting ready to take our scallops out of the oven. And uh, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah, to Like I told you before, let's see if I can remember what I did. Oh, uh, fettuccine noodles, grilled chicken, except for the mayor. He has extra scallops. Uh, I also made, like I said, the, the uh, sauce, the Alfredo sauce had the uh, crab meat and shrimp. Um, and we also have a uh, grilled garlic shrimp to go along with the uh, Fredo sauce and the scallops that's wrapped in bacon. But the scallops wrapped in bacon, I cooked them halfway in just the bacon and then once I took them out, I uh, coated them with uh, French dressing. And mm. we'll see how those combinations come together. Oh, you thought all that crazy. Man. Oh. This morning, yeah, last night and this morning, I sure did. Oh. <laughs> Thank everybody for coming. I hope everybody enjoyed oh. everything. Oh, excellent. Look forward to seeing everybody again soon. Oh, that would be awesome.